future. This is the start of a new series suggested by you, where I show the creation of a single image from start to finish. That is, of course, from photography, the way I approach a subject like beetling, for example, right through to post-production and the final JPEG image. My first subject is a popular one in the Lake District, the Castlerigg Stone Circle, near Keswick. It's on a minor road out of town. Parking is quite easy, although limited. I took these shots on the very last holiday that I led for HM Holidays, and it was the last subject we covered on that day. And I think it was a rather an appropriate way to finish my series of what 250 holidays for HM. Now for some shock tactics. I'm going to show you the original raw image out of camera. As you can see, it is grossly underexposed. Had I given the picture more exposure than the highlight, a very important highlight where the sun is setting, would be so overexposed you wouldn't be able to correct it even in Lightroom or Photoshop. To help me to determine the correct exposure, I spot metered on a highlight just to the right of the stones above the mountain. And now I'm going to correct the image in Adobe Lightroom. The first thing I do in Lightroom is to change the color profile, that is from color to landscape. I find by default that you get slightly more punchier colours in the landscape setting, which I think is so important in landscape photography, particularly when you're photographing a sunset. Using the Lightroom sliders, I now increase the exposure. Yes, I know it looks overexposed. But that information was recorded in camera. That's why I underexposed at the time of photography. I also tweak the contrast a little bit. Now, if I take the highlights and the whites right down, then I restore detail back into highlights without affecting shadows. If as a result, that the shadow areas look underexposed, then use the shadow and black sliders, move them to the right to restore detail. Now, you've got to be a little careful here. Increasing the exposure of dark areas can introduce noise. So you've got to be very careful that you do not fall into that trap. The next stage is to increase clarity and vibrance. This is very subjective as to how much you give the picture at this stage, and every picture usually is different. Be a little careful with clarity. You can distort the picture by adding artifacts, which of course we don't want. You will see here that I have increased saturation just a little bit. This is something normally I don't like doing. It makes the picture at times look rather artificial, but I think the subject on this occasion being a sunset, then that can benefit with a little bit of uh, tweaking in that direction. The final stage is to change the white balance. Again, as it is a sunset, I have used the shade preset, which warms the colours up a bit. Not perhaps, I hope, too much. 
I now have the final image. I don't necessarily do the various alterations in that order. It doesn't really matter. Choose an order suitable for you. However, when it's finished, I keep the original raw file and the changes on the sidecar file. I don't delete them, but I make a JPEG copy as I have here for YouTube and whatever other task I have in mind. The reason for keeping the original raw file is that if six months later I don't like what I've done, I can go back to it, back to the original picture and start all over again. And that is very important because whatever I do, I try not to lock myself too much into a technique that I cannot backtrack from.